Hi, I'm Alex, and my partner here is Jeremy. He's going to be filming right now. And we're going to be doing some chemistry for you today. So, right now, I have just a little bit of water, and I'm going to put some industrial cleaning product in here, forming a basic solution. And to that, I'm going to add some phenolphthalein. desired effect, see? It's going to turn this red. Ish. Ready, kind of. You can see the color there. Good view of it. Okay. And now we're going to do a little bit of chemistry magic. The phenolphthalein is red because it's indicating that this is a basic solution. But, if I add a few drops dry ice here, and we'll smoke up, and magically it changes the solution colorless, and wow, there we go. <laughs> it's a little much. And it's bubbling up a lot. You put too much in, dude. How awesome is that? Um, you're supposed to add like two. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> some slime in our chemistry experiment. Right here we have a solution of polyvinyl alcohol and we are going to add some food coloring. Stir it around a little bit. Got a nice blue color going on there. And then we're going to add some sodium tetraborate. happening with this reaction is the sodium tetraborate is being cross-linked with the poly polyvinyl alcohol making a polar network. And right now we're going to adjust the stoichiometry <laughs> add some more er, sodium tetraborate. Stir it around a little bit. Come in close, come in close. creating enough of both reactants. There. That's what we wanted. That's warm, too. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. What I have here are a couple solutions of metal salts, and a salt is a mixture of a metal and a non-metal. And what I have here is some lithium chloride and some copper sulfate. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be spraying these onto this fire. So here goes nothing. You can see that? There's a red flame there. And now, it's time for the copper sulfate. See what color this one goes. So the color change you just saw was created by the outer shell electrons being excited and then 
return back to their ground state, releasing energy in the form of that particular color. Kind of like when you're going up a roller coaster and you're building up energy and when you come down you release energy in the form of screaming. Or, for example, we use these principles all the time in fireworks. We use color changes like this to give you the beautiful effects that we see with fireworks. Okay, so what we're doing right now is putting some Mentos into our Mentos shooter here. And what's happening, what will be, in happening. This, what will be happening is the Mentos are microporous, and so they actually have a very, very high surface area. And this reacts with the carbon dioxide in Diet Coke which is going to give us a pretty cool effect here. <laughs> Do the honors, Jeremy. Yes! Oh, I got missed, did it? That's my... So, I'm gonna say thanks for the great year, Mr. Alford, and I hope you enjoy watching this. It was fun. It was great. Look, look what you've done, look what you taught us. <laughs> But it's okay. It was good.